This issue discussed today is an issue with an MDS switch. The issue itself, the symptoms are that an MDS switch will spontaneously reload. Um, it's caused by a small memory leak, which eventually causes severe RAM depletion and the resulting reload. The one affected releases are 8.4, 2, 2A and 2B. There is logging error seen due to lack of memory in the logs and the triggers can be varied. We have noticed one activity, which is um, an SSH logins to the switch. Normal circumstances, regular interactive logins are fine, but in the case of monitoring software, excessive logins can cause the issue or trigger the issue. And to log into the MDS switch, login as admin. In order to see what version you're running, just show hardware. We list your um, version and your hardware um, type, your, your switch type. Also, you can use the show version command, and that will show pretty much the same information as uh, shown here. The service that is running at the time of the crash, and that's listed at the bottom there in the last reset, and that is very much dependent on what's running. The issue is due to a lack of memory leak, so the service may not be indic indicative of the issue that caused the crash. You need to look through the logging log files, and that's um, done by show logging in VRAM and grep for um, either resident mem or lack of memory, or uh, in fact, grep for memory. The issue didn't occur in this, which is just why we don't see it. Um, if you want to check to see if your switch is at risk, if you're within the targeted um, software, you can run the command to show the low total and low free. If the low free is greater than 20% of the low total, then your switch is at risk and you will need to take mitigating actions. One of the possible mitigating actions is to do um, a scheduled reload of the switch. A reload is a disruptive action, it needs to be um, proactively scheduled. And before you run a reload, just to remind you to use the copy running config for the startup config. Other options that you can do for uh, to free up the memory is uh, perform an in-service switch upgrade uh, and or an, an in-service switch upgrade to release, which even does not have the fix, will temporarily cover lost kernel memory, so it'll free up um, memory from the memory leak. The first fixed version is 8.51. It's targeted for release in June 2021. The major fixed release will be 8.42C and targeted to be released later in the year. Thank you for watching.